Hey there friends, thanks for checking in at the range now and we're going to do a comparison with the Taurus G2C versus the Star BM9. These guns could not be more different. Here we have a hammer fired versus a striker fire, polymer frame versus a steel frame. All right, single stack, eight round mag versus a double stack, 12 round mag. They couldn't be more different, but the one thing they share in common is that they are both budget guns, right around $200, incredible guns for the money. Let's start with the Taurus. Here we have the G2C. This is the gun that I believe brought Taurus back into the good graces of many shooters out there. It has pretty good texturing on the, the grip, three finger contact, as mentioned, 12 round magazine. I don't have 12 rounds in here. Uh, single action trigger with restrike capability, drift adjustable three dot rear sight, pinned in front sight, loaded chamber indicator, 3.2 inch barrel, uh, thumb safety on this side, and an accessory rail. For right around 200 bucks, it really is pretty incredible. A lot of people love the G2C, a lot of people uh, carry it, and they do so with confidence. Let's see how it fires. Nice. Just like that, the, the magazine, I mentioned it has 12 rounds, sight holes right there. And overall, it's a simple gun. You know, you, you look at how easy it is to disassemble. Just like that, off comes the slide from the barrel. G2C, very popular gun by Taurus and people love it. But over here we have the Star BM9. And if you love a steel frame, this gun is an incredible shooter for the money. It, I call it a high power subcompact. It mimics the Browning high power from the slide to the function, even the uh, thumb safety placement, how it disassembles, the, the uh, trigger action. It even has a magazine disconnect on there, much like the Browning high power. It, you know, in, in previous reviews, I put them side by side and people were like, whoa, that really does look like a high power. Now, this is a single stack, eight round magazine. I have Barneau steel case in there, but a very nice functioning gun. It's very 1911-ish from the look. You know, it's meant to be carried, cocked and locked. All right, sweep down on the thumb to disengage the thumb safety. Um, it has a barrel bushing. It has barrel lug in there, single action trigger. I, I think the gun is phenomenal. And once again, the price for this is right around $200. And I tell people this has to be one of the best deals going. And I love, I love that single action trigger. So let's get a closer look of these. Here is, I want to say the Browning High Power, but it's not. It's a Star BM9. And then here is the Taurus G2C. The Star is heavier. The Taurus has a shorter barrel. It is a polymer frame gun. The Star is a steel frame gun. The Star was made in 1979. There's a marking right there that says 79. This was 2018. So here we have a more of a historical gun. Oh, one more thing. This is a military surplus gun. It's a Spanish military surplus gun, never in the hands of civilians, law enforcement, and military only. And this one is in real nice condition. So there they are. Which one would you want more? Which one would you choose if you had to choose just one? I'm going to give you my answer right now. Given that I have other guns, if I had to choose one, I would take the Star BM9. I just think that that all steel frame and the solid build is really nice and, and offers a lot for the money. But if I did not have many guns and I was looking for a carry gun, I would take the additional four rounds that the Taurus G2C has to offer because I do think this is a phenomenal gun. Both are pretty amazing, and I look forward to hear what you have to say about them. 
If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.